Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. It has been a while. Uh, kind of. <laughs> this is actually the start to a bit of a longer recording thing for me, where I kind of cut in and out while I do certain things. And I like to call it the time skip. It actually has been a few weeks for me since I've last recorded purely because of life. The treasure hunt is on the 26th day of summer. Race against the clock to find an item hidden in the caves. It's a great way to get a lot of money and wood. Give it your best shot, Mayor Godwin. So if we go here into our knife set and use this uh, flounder I just got, we get the flounder sashimi. The flounder sashimi, fresh flounder cut and served raw with soy sauce. Its thin meat is expensive. It is worth $7.50, so definitely not bad. Not only that though, but I also have two protein just because I want to increase my uh, pharmacy level a little bit, and I figured I'm going to have a full season to get these items back, so why not? Alright, done there, and I figure I might as well eat these. Hey, Raguna! Let me see what we have. I recommend this today. Wow, you made your house bigger. I thought you might. Well, I have to recommend the double bed. You'll need a double bed before a girl will marry you. It'll cost you 10,000 G. And I'll do it. Alright. We're good. So now we have a larger size bed. We never have to worry about feeling insignificant with our small, tiny bed, even though we're a grown man. As you can see, right here. I actually kind of like it. So long as those are, you know, comfortable sheets and they're, well, blankets and sheets, I guess, but as long as they're all comfortable, I'm all for that. And now we're here. The day of the festival. Alright. Morning. Today's the treasure hunt. Maybe I ought to join in too. Good morning. It's the treasure hunt today. I'm sure if you take part, you can win it, Raguna. Good morning. A treasure hunt? I have a feeling you'll do well, Raguna, despite appearances. And what is that supposed to mean? Morning. Ah, oh, the treasure hunt. Are you taking part, Raguna? I'm sure if you push yourself, you can do. You can win it. Good morning. It's the treasure hunt today. Eh, it's an exciting event. I wonder if there'll be any mishaps. Good morning. Back in the day, I used to go to caves and such too. Those were the days. The treasure hunt day. Eh? I know boys love that one. Good morning. Even at me age, I get excited about the treasure hunt. Good morning. I'm too scared to go any to any of the caves. Good morning. Seeing how fast you can find the objectives in the caves, this is quite a fun contest. Good morning. Maybe there's some kind of delicacy to be found in the caves. I love adventurous food. Good morning. And no matter how old I get, when I hear the word explore, I can't help but get excited. Good morning. It's the treasure hunt today. I went on tons of them when I was a kid. Good morning. My father also left the treasure hunt. Are you going to take part, Una? Good morning. A treasure hunt day? Eh? I'm sure you can do well. Good morning. Today's the treasure hunt. You know Xavier's determined to beat you, Raguna. He's got kind of a big head, though, so go get him. <laughs> Good morning. Today's the treasure hunt. Today, this is your type of contest, Raguna. Good morning. Xavier was saying he'll be the one to win the treasure hunt. Good morning. I'd kind of like to join the treasure hunt myself. I wish I could join the treasure hunt. Maybe I can join secretly? Morning. Nicholas goes to caves and stuff a lot. I go sometimes too, <laughs> but don't tell anybody. I'm pretty sure we already know that. After the event in the third cave, I believe it is. Morning. Daddy doesn't seem interested in exploration, Raguna. What about you? Good morning. It's the day of the festival of the treasure hunt, Mr. Raguna. I guess you like this kind of event. Good luck. Alright, and now let's start the event. Before I start it, I'm going to pause it real quick and just kind of explain the rules to this. Uh, this is a timed event from the, from the start of talking to Godwin and him saying go to the point where you actually get the hidden book. You have five different rewards you can get. The lowest prize is either 1,000 G or 10 Lumber, which you can get by doing 100 minutes or more. So if it takes you over a minute and a half, then you get the worst prize. If between 80 and 100 minutes, you get 10,000 G and 100 Lumber. 
50 to 80 minutes is 50,000 G and 500 lumber. 20 to 50 minutes is 100,000 G and, and 1,000 lumber. And less than 20 minutes is 200,000 G and 2,000 lumber. Um, this is kind of an awkward thing because to get less than 20 minutes, you have to do it one of two ways. Either A, you can cheat. You can literally cheat. Like, put in a cheat device. That That's it. B, you can cheat. Not literally cheating, but you can, instead of turning in the item that you get from this, you can put it on your shelf and then just end the day. You will not get a new prize this year, but next year you'll be guaranteed the best prize. But, if you're going for, you know, collecting every item in the game and everything just to be able to say, haha, I have it all, rather than either the first place or second place prize, you can instead choose an empty bottle. So, you know, if you want to get both the first place prize and the empty bottle, then it'll actually take you three years. The first year, you can either not get a reward, and then the second year, you would get the first pl that first place prize, or you can get the bottle the first place, you know, the first year. Second year, you'd get nothing. Third year, you'd get that first place. I would not recommend bothering with the first place, to be honest. It's just not worth it. Instead, make sure that you have the teleport home spell. And let's do this. It's the day of the tr uh, treasure hunt. Search for the dream... Wow. Search the caves for the specified item and bring them back as quick as possible, okay? Here are the rules. A book called Sunset Road is hidden somewhere in Carmite Cave. Compete to see who can find it the fastest. A hint to the hiding place is a dead end. You have until 6pm to find it. Okay, start. You immediately teleport so that you can, you know, not have to walk there and spend the 20 minutes to do that. Or I guess it would be more like 10-15 minutes. So he mentioned a dead end. There's only a couple dead ends in the entire cave. In this case, it's best if you just take the shortcut right over here. Or get stuck on everything. You know, that's the legitimate way to do it. Get poisoned, it's fine. Now, if you had come over here earlier, I think it says something along the lines of, Oh, hey, there's something should be hidden here. Something's buried here. Dig it up. Hey, this is the Sunset Road book. I finally found it. I'd better hurry back. Time is of the essence. Now, Sunset Road, a book for some reason it can be used as the object of the treasure hunt, is being, been, you, being used, whatever. <laughs> Now I'm going to swap out my spell while still in this menu. Use escape. This is certainly Sunset Road. You did it, Raguna. Your time was 0 hour 41 minutes. What a time. So please choose one of the items. Oh, you get a choice, not and. If you get the first place prize, I believe you get and 200,000 G and 2,000 lumber. Um, this is hard. I guess I'll do an empty bottle. I don't really need this, but... You know, I just like being able to say I have everything, and honestly, I'm not hurting for either wood or money. You need an empty bottle for the exploration. So, that's it. That is the event, uh, mostly. There is something I should note. If you're playing, I think, the Japanese versions, or an early English version, I'm not quite sure on this, but I have read this and I have seen people do it before, if before talking to Godwin, you go to the cave and search the spot, you can get the book and then give it to him immediately. I kind of read up on this like while I was on my way there because I remember there was some kind of glitch you could do, but it's been fixed in this version. I tested it before I ever even started this playthrough, so eh, yeah, whatever.
Time to heal myself, because, you know, poison. I wish I could join the treasure hunt! No, wait. Did they not actually say anything yet? Any oh. I thought their dialogue would be different. Never mind, I guess that is the end of this event. And I never actually saw Xavier. Huh. I'm just kind of gonna run through, but I'm fairly certain I never saw him. Wow, okay, yeah, I never saw him. That sucks, actually, because, you know, I kind of wanted to see what he would have to say. Oh well, whatever. I didn't even realize. So, I'll meet you all on the next important day, or when something interesting happens. Alright, it is the 30th day of summer. And now on this suspicious day, we say hello to Nicholas. Hey, Raguna, what's it like to have a father? I mean, we've heard all this before. We have a strawberry for you. If we had gotten the uh, cooking done sooner, all the, uh, you know, upgraded the house and actually bought the upgraded uh, kitchenware stuff, we would have been able to make you a stew, which is your birthday gift. But we don't have that, so this is what you get. Wow, I love the strawberry! Yippee! Sadly, we can't give him his favorite gift, but it is worth noting that if you can get your hands on stew, this is the place to do it right here. This little boy, he loves the stew. Alright, and now it is finally fall. So, we can get withered grass. We just need to ship one of these for this, uh, you know, spot in the shipping list. The withered grass. Call it lack of love, lack of water, or fate. These are the remains of withered crops. Alright. I'm just gonna ship them all and I'll meet you in just a second as something else happens. Alright, here in Mist's house. Hi Raguna, what can I do for you? Keep working hard plowing the fields. It is actually her birthday today. And um her birthday gift is the emery flower. It takes a year to grow. And you know, you can't reliably get it until, like, winter or so, so you can't do it until the third year. It's kind of crap, to be honest. Um, if you want to give it to her on your second year, what you have to do is you have to get it this winter from the drop, from the monster drop, and then you have to plant it immediately and start giving it a bunch of the formulas. The formula A, B, and Cs. I believe A reduces it by... One day, B reduces by two, and C reduces it by three full days. So if you were to full season, give it to her. I believe it will actually be done before you need to. Um, it's very expensive doing that, though. So, you know, it's not exactly worth even giving to her on her birthday. Thank you very much. But, you know, we gave her a gift of some sort. That's all there really is today, so I'll, I'm just gonna show off what I'm doing here first, so give me just a minute. Alright, so first thing, Good morning. hey Raguna, I recommend this today. I believe we can get the better kitchen now. The large kitchen, finally. It'll cost us 1000 and honestly that's fine. As well as the upgraded fridge. Alright, so finally, after all that time, we can actually go in and, uh, you know, start cooking, or, well, at least we will next week. Next week, we can finally get the oven and all those other items. For now, though, it's holiday, so there isn't a huge amount to do, so I'm actually going to cut it here. So, I've just actually uh, started listening to the music here in Fall, and I actually love it. Now here in the fall, so, you've come to buy something. Thanks as always for coming. We can buy grapes. I actually need to see how many we need. We only need seven grapes, so you know, I'll of course buy nine. And we plant the moon drops. 
Alright, it's the 5th of fall, and it's Felicity's birthday. So, on a, such an auspicious day as today, as, you know, I pretty much said last time. Oh, right, I haven't cleared my inventory yet. Give me a moment. Okay, if we come over to the frying pan and use an eggplant, we get the eggplant curd. And we're going to do the same thing once again. Okay. The eggplant curd. Eggplant is fried and seasoned with bean paste for a mildly rich flavor. It's worth 340, which, you know, is a good upgrade from the actual eggplant itself, so if you're out for money or early game or something and you're growing eggplant, that's the way to do it. Alright, so we've shipped one of those, and more importantly, we have Felicity's favorite gift. So since we're such good friends with them, we can actually visit them in the early morning. Hey Felicity. That's not the right item. This is the correct item. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the eggplant curd. It's nice to get a birthday present that I love. Yep, we finally were able to give someone their favorite gift. I feel great now, thank you very much. And that puts Felicity at eight heart, uh, friendship with us and four hearts. So, you know, that's very good. All right, and now it's the seventh, AKA Harvest Festival. All right, now here on the Harvest Festival, before we actually get to the event itself, it is the seventh. It is this. Oh no. He's not here today. I wasn't expecting that. Oof. Never mind, we're not getting our new stuff for our kitchen. That's unfortunate, so I guess we have to do that in winter. That's really stupid and not well thought out. Good morning. It's the Harvest Festival today. I guess I should also welcome Harvest Time. So I'm gonna rearrange my inventory a bit. Because, um... Well, it's all about gift giving this time of year. You get a strawberry. Thank you. Thanks for the strawberry, you really know what I like. Awesome. So we just need to remember I've given it to him, but I figure I'll talk to the event holder first. Good morning. No one is as grateful as me for the Harvest Festival. I'll be paying homage to the blessings of the earth this year too. So this year is all about giving gifts. You get huge boosts to your love and affection and everything today. So I would recommend, you know, getting enough uh, crops raised for this. Thank you. Thanks, I like the cucumber. The Harvest Festival really soothes the soul. Good morning. Today is the Harvest Festival. We owe our livelihood to the abundant land. Morning. I can't think of anyone who feels gratitude at the Harvest Festival as much as Daddy. Eating is Daddy's life. I'm thankful for the sun, the rain, and the blessings of the earth. I'd like to eat a meal to show these feelings today. But saying that, it becomes a huge eating contest at Mr. Jasper's home. Well, he does seem to enjoy it. Thank you very much. So, I don't believe Bianca actually cares about this gift, but I'll do it to her just to get the dialogue. As it's the Harvest Festival, you could bring me something a little more worthy. Well, I'll take it for now. Good morning. I love the Harvest Festival. I like showing my gratitude for the blessings of the Earth. Thanks. Cucumber, I know it's not relevant, but come and take a bath sometime, okay? The cucumber looks so good, I love the Harvest Festival. Morning. You can't do anything with an empty stomach. Thank goodness for the blessings of the earth. Thank you. Ah, 
a cucumber, huh? Thank you, I'm thankful for the Harvest Festival. You're giving me a strawberry? Hmm. Guess she doesn't have dialogue for the Harvest Festival. Thank you, huh? I love the strawberry. Yippee! Okay, do I have to give him a different gift? Today's the harvest festival, eh? You got this radish from your field? So I guess you can't give ones that they like? If you want the different dialogue? I'm so happy. I love the radish. The harvest festival is really fun. So... Thank you, very much. Thank you very much for the radish. You can show off your skills at today's harvest festival, Raguna. The dialogue's weird. Strawberry? Would be this lad. Do they not consider strawberries as a crop? Because no one's reacting to strawberries. Thanks. Radish thinks we must give thanks to the Atha Festival Zai. Thank you, the Harvest Festival wouldn't be festive without a radish. The land here is really abundant, it's a great place to live. Well, it is the Harvest Festival, this radish looks delicious. Thank you. Thanks for the radish, the Harvest Festival is my favorite festival of the year. Thanks, I'm happy to get this radish on the day of the Harvest Festival. I mean it. Thank you. Thanks for the radish. It makes me want to recite a poem about the earth. I'm gonna need more veggies, so give me a minute. Thanks. Sweet potato, eh? Thanks. Toast to the Harvest Festival. Cheers. Thank you very much for the sweet potato. What's the Harvest Festival today? What an amazing earth we live on. Good morning. Today's the day that we show our gratitude to the earth and the heavens. We truly are blessed. Good morning. Without the fruit of the earth, there'd be no alcohol. So I'll celebrate it. So I'll celebrate at today's Harvest Festival. I don't know why I'm messing up so badly. It's the greatest. It's the. It's great that everyone celebrates today. I give up. At the Harvest Festival, thanks for the fruits of the earth. I hate having to sit like this. <laughs> it's the Harvest Festival today, eh? This town has a lot going for it. We must be thankful. I am honored. Thanks, I love the sweet potato. Let's give thanks to the blessings of nature today. Let's be sure to talk to everybody. The land here is really abundant. It's a great place to live. It's Harvest Festival today. I really am grateful for the blessing of this earth. I. Good morning. It's the Harvest Festival today. You've worked really hard for this, Raguna. Good morning. Today we give thanks for the blessings of the earth, but how exactly are we going to thank the earth, I wonder? Morning. Today's the Harvest Festival, eh? I could eat. I gotta eat all kinds of good food. Today is the Harvest Festival. Praise our blessings and our Earth. It's weird that they say Earth. You can't do anything. You can't do anything without an empty stomach. Thank goodness for the blessings of the Earth. Today is the Harvest Festival. Today is the day we give thanks for our daily blessings. We are our health to the food of the land. The food the land produces. Good morning. It's the day of the Harvest Festival day. Let's give thanks to the blessings of the earth and have a good time. Morning. We owe Mother Earth for all our abundant blessings. Morning. Okay, I believe that's everyone. I'm really not sure if I gave her one, so I'll give her another. Thanks, I really like the sweet potatoes. The Harvest Festival today, eh? Alright, anyone down here? Good morning. I'm 
grateful for all the blessings we've had this year. Thank you. Thank you, I get a sweet potato on the day of the Harvest Festival. I'm so happy. Today's the Harvest Festival. We must always remember that's the earth that sustains us. I don't know why I have trouble reading some of these lines. Thanks. Thank you. With its scent of soil, the sweet potato is perfect for the Harvest Festival. Good morning. Fall is the season to harvest. With so much food around, one can't help but putting on a few pounds. Thank you. Is the sweet potato from your field, Raguna? Good morning. Today is the Harvest Festival. This is a day to give our thanks for our daily blessings. Thank you. Very Thank you. I like the green pepper. Isn't the Harvest Festival splendid? Morning. It's the Harvest Festival today. We have a lot to be thankful for. Thanks for the green pepper, it'll make a ha for a happy half uh, harvest festival. Uh, that, 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 that. Messing up every line forever. But that's, I believe, it for today. And that's. Yeah, that's very good. That sets Rosetta, Edward, Tori, Wesley, Laura, Emmett, Melody, and Sharon all at 10 friendship with me. Miss Jean, Camus, Lady Anne, Russell, Newman, Felicity, Lucas, Jasper, and May are all at 9 friendship. Xavier, Cecilia, Sabrina, uh, Nicholas, Leo, Tabitha, and Bianca are all at 8, and then Godwin sitting down at 7. We're not doing amazing when it comes to love. But, you know, our friendship is almost maxed out for a lot of them, and actually maxed out for half of them, so that's amazing. Okay. The grape. These sweet purple fruits grow closely packed together. The cabbage. A vegetable for all purposes. Tastes good raw, cooked, or boiled. And the toy herb. This nutritious condiment can be used in both tea and medicines. So we're going to be shipping one of each of these. That way I can check them off my list. And uh, that should be it for today. Please, do come in. Mr. Shield Shield Course. This book was signed by Mr. Shield himself, whoever that is. It costs 10,000 G. Thank you for your purchase. Please, do come in. I have just the book for you. Mixtures and Concoctions. This handy book deals with how to prepare medicine. It costs 7,000 G. Thank you for your purchase. Do come in. Chop Shop 1. This is a beginner's book on preparing meals using kitchen knives. It costs 4,000 G. Thank you for your purchase. Do come in. Chop Shop 2. This is an advanced book on preparing meals using kitchen knives. It costs 15,000 G. Thank you for your purchase. Alright. Now, if we come here to the bar... Welcome! Welcome! So what's this gonna be? Can I see the menu? Alright. Baked rice balls. I'm going to take someone's word on this, and I'm gonna buy a few stacks of these. And we're gonna test our luck here. See whether the internet's lying to me or not. Okay. So, it is the 10th. It is May's birthday. So let's give her a baked rice ball. Thanks, I love the baked rice ball. Knowing my taste is one of your good points. And some people said that for birthday gifts, you can just give them as many times as you want. So after two of those, how does she feel with us? It doesn't say it did anything, but that may just be the way the game handles this. So I'm just going to give all of these to her, you don't really need to see it, and then I'll cut back in tomorrow and tell you whether it worked or not. So I just gave her a couple more rice balls and then checked in here just to see if anything did change. Apparently it does work. I don't need to wait until tomorrow. So I'm just going to take a screenshot and kind of submit it so I don't have to keep recording. And um, this is the final thing right here. That's what she's at now with her affection and, you know, friendship and her love stats. So, yeah, I may have just gotten her love up to 10. I don't know. Depends on what I want to do. Cool. Awesome. That doesn't mean we can immediately marry her, though. I should cut in and say that. 
Uh, May is a special snowflake who needs her own unique gift. It is... May is, I believe, the hardest girl to marry in the entire game. While you can do this kind of cheap way to get her love up, you have to do something really special to actually marry her, which I will kind of touch on and cover. You, you'll see at the end of the series, don't worry. If we come up here to the mansion, to the kitchen, it's actually Tabitha's birthday today. Miss Bianca says some bad things, but she's a good girl at heart. So, Tabitha, she has a favorite gift. One which we do not have. So, her favorite gift is rice porridge. I believe tomorrow we get the cooking pot and all that, so we can't actually make it today. So, it's unfortunate, but you can't actually give her her favorite gift if you've been playing along with me and doing everything the same way. If you've been doing better than I have, then you're fine. So instead, we are going to be giving her a lot of flour today. I'm just going to head down here. Alright. So I'm just going to hand her all this flour and see what her fashion gets to. I'm not 100% sure on this because I'm a little bit hazy on how the earlier games handle it, but I believe on her birthday it actually doubles the gift. Like, how much it's worth. Thank you very much. So I'm not sure exactly how all of this works and if it actually doubles it the way I think it does, but, you know, if nothing else, I just want to get my affection up with her as much as I can. So after all that, Tabitha is at 10 friendship and 5 hearts. I think I'm actually just going to spend this time and just spend a little bit more money and get her up to 10, you know, love points. There's no exact reason why I should do that now, but it's just nice getting people to that max rank, I guess. My goal is to get everyone up to 10 friendship and all the, you know, bachelorettes up to 10 love. So let's do that. Give me just a moment. And just like that, Tabitha is up to 10. This store always has a wide range of goods suitable for the season. I waited until noon to buy a bit more of the uh, flour I needed, which made her come down here because it's Friday. But, yeah. Sadly, I don't have her birthday gift, so I had to give her, like, I probably gave her close to, like, 160 or so flour. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I think it takes, like, something around 250 points, which means that I wasn't getting any boost to her, because otherwise it would have taken a maximum 125 from zero hearts. But, you know, one, two... Uh, love points is what you get typically, so I'm just glad she's taken care of. I, once again, didn't really need to, you also can get her love up just by taking care of your monsters, but just to have that there and say, oh hey, it's taken care of is kind of nice and believing for me. So on to the next day. So I came here to talk to Ivan, but I made a mistake. Apparently it's next week that he sells all the cooking stuff. Oops. And it's fine. Nothing, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. All right, the 14th of fall is actually Camus's birthday. His favorite gift is one of these. Did you know today is my birthday? Thanks, Raguna. I love the warrior certificate. It's a really easy way to get his love up. I'm, well, his, I guess, friendship. Camus, he's at nine currently, so it should only take a few of these, I think. I have a lot of them from when I was grinding up those something or others. I don't actually really remember what I was getting from them. Camus is at 10 already. Alright, that's everything I need to do with him. Bye, Camus. And today is the Moonlit Eve. So, we have to go out with a girl we have four love points with or higher. I was thinking about who I wanted that to be. And, um, honestly, I think Bianca is the best choice. You can only get Bianca's love up by talking with her and going to talk to her during festivals and things, and it's kind of a hard thing to do, so I figured that, if anyone, her, she would probably be the best one. Besides her, there's Melody, who just likes taking baths, and Tori, who we have zero love with because I misunderstood how to get her love up. Apparently, Tori, you have to read a book every day or do specific things with her. 
such as, you know, festival-related things. I have not done any of those things, thinking she was just one of the normal brides and that she would just, you know, gift. It's not how that works. So, we're actually going to be hanging out with Bianca. And to do that, you have to come up here sometime after 9 a.m., but I believe before noon, and you ask her out. It's Moonlit Eve tonight, so what? You came to ask me on a date? <laughs> Want to go on a date with me? Why not, eh? Since you've asked me, I may as well. Okay, head up to the top of Mount Clemens. You'd better come. Okay. So now, from 6 p.m. to midnight, you can go and you can find her. This will just give us some friendship and love points with her, and in general would be a nice little event. <laughs> now, I do plan on covering this a little bit further later on, but, you know, for this first year, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to just show off hers and nothing else. I will in the second year come back and I'll kind of do like a clip show of each of theirs, just showing how the events may differ. If they don't differ at all, then I'll just, you know, do this day again and kind of say, hey, these are the times you need to talk to each person. I have my reasons. I level up right at 6 p.m. This sounds like a good thing. Now, if we walk right up here... Braguna, it's a beautiful night, eh? A little romantic, eh? Braguna, it's nice to do this kind of thing sometimes, eh? Yeah, you're right. Thanks for inviting me today, Braguna. Actually, I was happy you did. Hey, Braguna, are you interested in me? What? Interested in me... You know, like, me. Oh, forget it. Right, I'm heading back. We'll talk again soon, okay? A simple moment with some really nice music. It's quite nice, to be honest. Hey, Raguna. Let me see what you have. I recommend this today. The oven. You need an oven to make tasty food. It costs 2,000 G. I'll take it. Thanks as always. The oven will be delivered to your house. The cooking pot. You need a cooking pot to make tasty food. It costs 1,200 G. And I'll take it. Thanks as always, the cooking pot will be delivered to your house. And finally... A steamer. You need a steamer to make tasty food to cost 800G. I'll take it. Thanks as always, the steamer will be delivered to your house. And just to be sure, I don't need, like, a frying pan... Okay. There's just advanced recipes that I was looking at that confused me. But finally... After all this time... We have them. So, we have access to the steamer, the oven, and the cooking pot now. And because of this, we can make all of the recipes. I am level 91. We can actually do every single recipe now because the highest level recipe is level 90. So, look forward to that in the coming episodes. If we head into our mixer real quick, and put in a butter... I meant to say a milk, but we made butter, so, you know, I'm just gonna keep that. Along with a yam and butter into the oven, we get a baked potato. 
Now, the baked potato is actually the favorite gift of one lovely Rosetta, who it just so happens birthday is today. Interesting. Baked sweetie potato. Thank you, Raguna. Do you, you know, like me? Good morning. You're going to Mr. Boom Cave? Isn't that a little too dangerous? Uh, Rosetta is currently at seven hearts with us. So I can absolutely do that today. So I, you yeah, know, let's get her up to ten. Okay. Baked potato, reminiscent of fall, this can also be cooked over a campfire. It's worth 210, it expires in two minutes after you use it. It's a nice little meal, and it's actually a good way to grind. Thank you, I'm so happy you gave me a baked potato for my birthday, Raguna! Why was the fifth one I gave her a different piece of dialogue? That's... bizarre. Maybe it's because she's above eight hearts now? I don't know the answer to that. Rosetta is now 10 love with us, just like Tabitha and May. So, yeah, not bad. We're on our way. Side dishes. Thank you for your purchase. Please, do come in. Side dishes, volume 2. Please, do come in. For dinner. For dinner, too. Back by popular demand, these are more recipes for meals using pods. And I believe that puts us at all of the recipe books. We now have every recipe in the game. Now all that's left is the rest the passes for the caves and whatever other items there might be. But, you know, that's not one of them. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves now. It is the 23rd day of fall, so there's not a lot to do here. I just came in here to read and buy those books. Beyond that, I'll see you all tomorrow for the Wool Festival. <sighs> so I'm going to bed after 1am this time. Does this give me the tired status? Yay or nay? It did. Okay, so this is our, I believe, first time getting the tired status. This is totally on purpose and I didn't, you know, walk into the door right as it turned 1am. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I believe this means that I'll have double RP consumption and uh, if I were to do this again I would become sick and have triple RP consumption. It's, you know, unfortunate because, you know, RP is important and all that, but I guess I'll just go around water and stuff. I also lose two hours of the day and a little bit of my RP off the top of it, but that isn't huge. I'm going to take care of my chores real quick, and then I'll meet you all over at the uh, festival that's going on. Good morning. It's the wool show today, eh? Woolies are so cute, I'd like one as a pet. Good morning. <laughs> Woolies so woolly. I wonder if that's why we use that name. Good morning. You be needing Woolies wool to live, eh? Good morning. It's the wool show today. We're gonna, do you have a woolly? To tell the truth, I love Woolies, too. They're cute little monsters, aren't they? Good morning. I think Woolies are kinda cute. Morning. Woolly fur is important material. Without it, we couldn't make any clothes. That's why if you win the Wool Show, you'll earn everyone's respect. 
And whenever I see Willies, I get the urge to pick on them. It's weird. Good morning. I think Willies are kind of cute. Good morning. Did you know that fur from Willies can be used to make clothes and such? I actually did know that, considering I'm already a pretty good crafter. Good morning. Today is the wool show. I'd love to wrap myself in woolly fur and doze off to sleep. Good morning. You can get good five as from a woolly's wool. Are you going to enter the wool show? Good morning. A lot of people find woolies cute, but I'm not one of them. Good morning. No reason really, but I love to play around with Wooly's wool. You too, Raguna, right? Good morning! Don't you think freshly seared Wooly's are just adorable? Good morning. It feels great to sleep on a bed made of Wooly's wool. Morning. I love Wooly's! Morning! How do they make claws out of Wooly's fur? I wonder, that's pretty weird. A Wooly's wool is so soft, it feels so nice. Morning. I'm also interested in keeping a Wooly. Alright. That means everyone except for the people up in the plaza have been spoken to. Morning. I'm storing up some Wooly fur too. I plan on winning that wool show, you hear? The reason I hate this festival is that if I go near Wooly, I can't stop sneezing. Good morning. I also love clothes made from a Wooly's wool. It's so nice to the touch. Good morning. I wonder if a Wooly is edible. Don't. 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 Good morning. It's the day of the wool show. Please hand your prized wool over to me. Alright. We have a large fur right here. Raguna, is this large fur for the competition? Now it's time to find out who the winner of the e at this year's school show. The winner is Raguna, congratulations. Thank you very much. Everyone will know that the winner of the wool show produces the best wool in town. And considering I produce that every day, you know. Good morning. You won the wool show? Awesome, but I'm not as interested when there's nothing I can eat. Good morning. Wow, you won it. I'm impressed. You won the wool show. Congratulations, that's amazing. Morning. <laughs> I may have lost this time, but you won't win so easily next year. Incorrect. I would, uh... Yeah, yawn, sorry. I would absolutely win next year as well. Morning. Hey, you won at the wool show. Awesome, I can't help but respect you. You won the wool show, Raguna? Really? That wow, so cool! Morning. You were number one, Raguna? Wow! Good morning. Wow, you won the wool show, eh? Amazing. Morning. Oh yeah, you won the wool show. I'm impressed, Raguna. Show? Wow, Raguna, you really are amazing. Good morning. So you won it? I'm impressed. Good morning. You won the wool show, Raguna. Way to go. Good morning. Wow, you won the wool show. Very impressive, Raguna. Good morning. I can't believe you won the wool show. Everyone will look at you in a new light. You won the wool show. I tell Steve Raguna. Cheers. Good morning. You won at the wool show. I impressive. I. Good morning. You won the wool show, Raguna. Unbelievable. Good morning. What? You won the wool show? That's awesome, Raguna. Good morning. Whoa! I never thought you'd win the wool show. Not in my wildest dreams. Oops, that was rude of me. Congratulations. What? You won the wool show? That is quite an achievement. I see, so you won, eh? I always knew you were good at this kind of stuff. C Hello. Congratulations. 
Congratulations on winning. You are truly an amazing person. Congratulations, Raguna. I knew you could do it. You won the wool show. Amazing. I didn't know you had it in you. And I believe that's everyone. So, that got us some more affection with people. Bringing everyone except for Godwin up to ten. Godwin is the final person we need to get up. Besides that, there's the love side of things. Um, Tori's still at zero because I haven't been checking the books every day and reading and stuff, but everyone else is, you know, starting to make good progress. I have to go to the bathhouse more often so that Melody will love me, but other than that, Felicity and the rest of them are getting up there. So that will be the end of the Wool Show for this year. Um, there's not a lot else you can do with this. There's something I'll show in, like, post-game that is a slight addition to this, but that'll be a part of the post-game episode. Otherwise, the Wolf Festival is completely done forever. Okay. And now we're here on another day of a festival. Uh, kind of. This festival is the day of the fishing. It's fishing day. It's... It's a unique little cool thing, and isn't really recognized by like 90% of the town. Yeah. Now that it's 9am, I'm not sure who will react to it, but some people say it's only one person, some people say it's actually three people. It's fishing day today, but not everyone knows about it yet. We gotta make it bigger, we should advertise it or something. Please, come in here. Okay. Okay. I don't really like the rainbow trout so much. Oh, so you don't care about the gift side of it. You only recognize the fact that it is a holiday. And your son is not here, so I have to go find him. Give me a moment. Morning. Today is fishing day. Did you know that, Rikuna? Nobody's ever heard of it. I wish more people celebrated it. So he is number two. I'm going to assume that he doesn't react to it, but... You're giving me this cherry salmon? Um, okay. Yeah, he doesn't care that it's fishing day. Now, person number three. The only people who actually care about this whole day are fishermen. F fisher... what? Fish... fish people. Fish people. Freaky fish people. Morning. Looking at me, you wouldn't think it, but I like fishing. If you want, you could give me a, fr a fish as a present. Today, too. Okay, so we're gonna give... I'm honored. Thanks, I love the rainbow trout. It's good to get a fishy gift on fishing day. You can give her up to ten gifts, apparently. And by doing so, you'll raise her love by, you know, I believe it's two full points. The issue is that we're already at ten with her. This holiday is a bit of a bus, to be honest. Um, I don't really have anything I care about giving her. I don't care about catching and just seeing if she'll react differently, so that's the holiday. It's nothing really special, we don't really have to do much for it, but that actually signals the end of the time skip. And tomorrow we get into the final day of fall. That doesn't actually mean anything holiday-wise or anything, but I'm going to spend tomorrow just going through, cooking up a bunch of dishes, and, you know, just trying to fill up my shipping list a little bit more, and just say that we've made as many things as possible. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. And man, it has been a very long time since I've said that. We are finally done with the time skip. Tomorrow, we'll just be cooking, shipping, doing those kind of things, just trying to get a bit more completion done. And then the day after tomorrow, we make our way into Misty Bloom Cave after such a long time. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry if this was a bit of a weird one, but we're, we did it. After all these months, we finally did it. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.